Hello everyone, speaking of Sun and Ken Overbrainer, welcome to the first round of this draft, and oh my god, really, double like and draw, oh, I'm really wishing I'd pick Solar Khan in the first round, alright, alright, Zavonzi, double, double, double like and, and a draw, this is, this is ridiculous, alright, good luck to me, um, I really don't care about short destruction or anything like that in the start. There's nothing that's really um, scary to me, so I guess I'm just going to waste a bunch of mana uh, at the very start here. Give Magnus defend the weak, I guess, so that at least I'm using the mana for something. My axes are sharper. Combat train. Okay, so now he's strong. Good, good to know. Um, all right, so. Would have liked to see some mines or something, but I'm not going to see any of that. Uh, one hit point left is going to be on Debbie, which sucks. Uh, is there any like lane that I'm going to be safe in? I can defend the weak on Magnus, and then uh, I've got Veno in there, but then I'm then I'm double. I've got nothing but black in the other two lanes. But... You know, I might as well spend the mana, right? Alright, okay, so Dro is gonna immediately come down, and Dro is terrifying because she increases the power of all characters by one. She is a super S tier sort of character. Um, this is actually gonna be really safe for Venno in this lane. Um, probably gonna put Dro here where she thinks she's safe, uh, which makes a lot of sense. And I'm okay with that. Wow, okay, no, put Dro in the first lane. Alright. And of course, Venno lands right in front of the, the Beastmaster. There, there was a one chance that he was going to land in front of someone who was going to be a bad for him. And of course, he landed there. So this is already really perfect for us all. Great. Great, great, great. And the Savage Wolf coming down. Alright, so this is going really badly already. Uh, and this, this, uh, Debbie is gonna die because of the new creep that landed. Um, and apparently Magnus is gonna die because the Lycan arrow- oh my god, okay. My pack assembles. Hmm. This is going really bad for me. Uh, a second wolf comes down. Uh, I can at least no accident it. Oh uh, yeah, Venno landed in the worst spot. The wolf, the the lichen's gonna kill the Magnus. Uh, unless I shield him up, because I can shield him up with an apophatic shield, which is what I'm gonna have to do. Now he's only taking two, four damage, hooray! Because it defends me by plus two per. Uh, Mr. Zavoni says it can always turn around in a few turns. That's cool and all, but you have a dro. Uh, a lot of very scary characters in general. Need that Travels Cloak. Need that Stonehill Cloak. Okay, Lycan's going to be stuck on his own unless I send someone to help against that. There's going to be stuff happening in here. This is kind of a lost lane. I've got to kind of abandon this one, which is unfortunate because Dro's on that lane. Um... If I send here and hope to kill off this Lycan, I guess I do. He put Keef in here. I was expecting Keef to go here and just kill off my Magnus. All right. Uh, and of course, Abaddon doesn't land in front of anything uh, where he could have because he is a tank. Okay, two no accidents. I can no accident that wolf at least. And hey, it looks like I've got a half decent arrow there, but the, uh, maybe I can steal strength and finish that. I'm not going anywhere. Slow down uh, how, how quickly this uh, tower falls. Because I am doing damage to it, at least. Like, quite significant damage is being dealt to this tower. It's not a bow, but it's close enough. Alright, Keenfolk Musket comes down. If I Stonehill Cloak this Debbie, I'm not going to be able to Stonehill Cloak like the Venno. Uh, and to be honest, I think just a single Stonehill Cloak will be fine. She'll shoot me. I'll go down to five. They'll put a creep down here. The creep will be at three. I'll survive. Okay, so he kills that creep instead. That's fair. And now he's doing 17 here. I'm doing 11 here. So we're both hurting each other at least. 
Uh, but where the hell is my Venno gonna go? Because, I mean, you can go here and finish this. Okay. I'll take that. I will take that. You moved that hero out of my out of this lane. I will abandon this one. You will have your dro. That's fine. Debbie will be here, and we will be fine. I am perfectly, perfectly okay with what's happening right now. But turn five, and I still haven't drawn any of my four costs, which I have a lot of four costs. Uh, do, if I assure destruction here, I'll get eight siege damage off, and then maybe I can actually contest this lane. This is gonna be painful. Because, I mean, I don't have creeps here anyway, so it doesn't help him this turn, at least. and allows me to start pushing some damage. Uh, the question will be, can I kill off this lane quick enough? Uh, probably not, is uh, the, the, the simple facts of things. Uh, if I steal strength, I can actually kill this Lycan. I'll crush my rivals under hoof. Okay, he just TPs him out. Alright, so he's, he's safe. Now I need to... Def now I need to... Every all the fight is, in is over that lane now. I'm not going to guess I'll take the TP. I'm not really going to need it, but I'll take it. Oh, good. And I get double creep here. That's great. Uh, because these guys can eventually kill it on, on their own. I just need everyone in this lane. Just completely abandon the first lane. Throw everything in here. I've got three hero. I've got four heroes versus three, even though his heroes are better because some of them are red. Oh, good. Venno doesn't immediately die. That's good. Uh, this lane's going to go down very quickly. But it'll be fine. Okay, I can home field advantage from here into that lane. That'll help. He can't... As long as he doesn't have another creep here, he can't push for the kill yet on this tower. So it's going to survive a good two more turns at least. And that'll be fine for me. I've got 21 damage going into this, um, which is really good. I can get 2, 4, 6, 8 extra damage, which puts it to 29. Um, which is pretty, pretty good again. Uh... Stonehill Cloak the Venno. Yeah, I'll Stonehill Cloak the Venno. I won't die today. Lycan, okay, Sator comes in here. Sator is no blocking. Um, which is unfortunate for me. Um, but I can... Um, do I travel as Cloak this or borrow time this? I think I travel as Cloak this. I am strong enough. Uh, Okay, so now he's blocking this. Two, four, six, eight, ten extra damage. I go. It, he goes to one hit point on this tower. But then it's just a case of I've got, I've got to make sure that this tower doesn't die on the next round. And then I've got to kill this whilst also keeping this tower not dying with arm destruction. Um, so we'll see if this is even possible. I will forward charge everyone. So now we go to 31. And the Vernus's blessing, I can go up to. Um, I can go up to the lethal on this tower, but then I don't have this thing is going to happen really slowly. It's going to be just about defending this lane as much as possible, whilst I am self sieged here. I guess I really didn't need to use uh, the the uh, your destruction after all. Oh, oh, gonna have to defend that lane. It's gonna be so hard. But at least home field advantage will help. I'm gonna defend it for multiple turns unless I can get some a hero down here. Vesta of the Tyrant would be fantastic if I had gold, which I don't. Okay, at least at least I'm getting creep here. Uh, but these guys can do 12 damage with the assured destruction, then I lose next round. Uh, is how this is going to go. Unless I draw something like Annihilation and Annihilate this lane. That would be amazing if I draw Annihilation, actually. So Venom, not Annihilation. Friendly Fire. Okay, no. Friendly Fire will help. Uh, friendly Fire can have uh, the one of the heroes kill. If he Beastmasters, I'm going to have a problem there. Okay, that got disabled, so that's good. Uh, friendly... Ah. And now suddenly the path is clear for the kill here, and there's... Well, okay, I'm, I live on one hit point. I live on literally one hit point.
Maybe I can cheat my way. Maybe I can survive this. I'm gonna have to get the home field advantage to land here again and then friendly fire those two guys to death or something like that. Something's gotta happen. Uh, do I sow Venom here first? Um, I'm going to lose 2 damage. It's going to go to 13. 13, 26 is fine. But if I sow Venom here, I think I guarantee the kill on this tower. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sow Venom here. And then Town Portal out. Alright, come on, draw Annihilation here. Uh, if I draw Annihilation, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna take Potion Knowledge to draw a card, even. Um, what's his deck like, anyway? I haven't even looked at his deck yet, that's how bad this has gone so far. Um, he's already used his one Intimidation. He's got two Primal Roars left, of course, but come on. Draw this Annihilation. Venom's stuck on the outside, he's not gonna get Primal Roared. That's not Annihilation. That's Annihilation. Okay. He has initiative, so I might as well Potion Knowledge. Slay. Okay. If, I, if, if an Annihilation goes through, I've got this. I don't think there's anything he can do about it. Yeah, because Friendly Fire, no Ice and Snow, enough here. Ah, oh, enough magic! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I had Annihilation! Ah, oh, that was, oh, God damn it. Well, well then, that's me out. Yeah. If, if it wasn't for that, the comeback was. If I had just let Abaddon die there, I would not have lost initiative and then I would have been fine. God damn it. it needed to play to my out there, right? So. Uh, my only real option was Annihilation, and that required me to keep initiative. Ab if Abaddon dying doesn't stop any of this, because of a short destruction which I played earlier in that lane. Yeah, and Zivani, Zivonzi makes a good point, so there we go. Well, that's me out of the tournament, guys! Great! Uh, that didn't last long, did it? Uh. It just goes to show, no matter how bad things look, no matter how ridiculously powerful your opponent's deck is in front of you, um, there's always a chance you survive to annihilate and win and survive. Uh, well, this will be me against Lane 99, aka No Brainer. Thank you for watching this tournament, this draft tournament, that was my art in. Uh, signing off.